Hi everyone, and this morning our second story from Nina and the Little Duck is called The Little Duck. Hello Little Duck, said Nina. What is wrong? I'm so tired of sitting on my egg, said Little Duck. I have to sit on them every day and every night. How many eggs do you have? asked Nina. I have three lovely smooth white eggs, said Little Duck. Well, why not get someone else to sit on them? What a good idea, Nina! I could sit on your eggs, said Nina. Oh no! You are too big. You will break them. What about Mr. Raj? No, Mr. Raj will sell my eggs. You could ask Mrs. Raj. She is too tall and too thin to sit on eggs. And Simon? Oh no, not Simon. Why not? I think Simon eats eggs. Then, who do you think should sit on your eggs? asked Nina. Little Duck thought carefully. It has to be someone who is not too big or too small. Someone who is not too thin or too tall. It has to be someone with exactly the right size bottom. Oh, said Nina, do you mean someone like you? Yes, said Little Duck, someone with a soft bottom. A bottom that can keep a smooth white egg warm. Well, said Nita, Nina, what about a duck? Now that's a good idea, said Little Duck. But you are a duck, said Nina. Nina, you are so clever. There is nothing as soft as a duck's bottom. I will do it. I will go home and I will sit on my eggs and keep them warm. And that is just what Little Duck did. Tomorrow, with a bit of luck, I will be a yellow duck. I will swim and I will quack. I will waddle there and back. Tomorrow, with a bit of luck, I will be a yellow duck. Tomorrow morning, there will be brand new ducklings. One, two, three. Tomorrow seems so far away. I wish tomorrow were today.